Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to share 20 plugins that I think is either useful or fun to use in this game. Something that I just want to clarify before starting this video is that some of these plugins only works if you have club access, so if you try to download a plugin and it doesn't work, that's why. With that being said, let's get into the first plugins. The first plugin is Bingo. Bingo is a surprisingly fun game because every single square on the board is a track. And the way you claim a track is by getting a set medal that the host of the game chooses before the game starts. And the next plugin is Spectators. Spectators is basically a plugin that shows if someone is spectating you and how many people are spectating you. Next plugin is Checkmin Exchange. Checkmin Exchange is normally a website, but you can also have it as a plugin. And the plugin makes it very easy and accessible to play any map you want. Plugin number 4 is Alternate Medals. Alternate medals basically shows you the different times you need to get to claim the different medals in the game. Next plugin is Dashboard. Dashboard is a plugin that can show you your speed, it can show you the exact time you're about to gear up, and it can show your inputs on screen while you're playing. Next plugin is Refresh Leaderboards. This plugin basically just makes you have a button above your leaderboards that you can press and refresh your leaderboards instead of doing other things to refresh it. Very nice. Plugin number 7 is Map Info. This plugin basically shows you roughly how many people has played the tracks. It also shows you the slowest time on the track. And it also gives you a link to the website where you can see all the records on the track. Plugin number 8 is Cup of the Day Live Qualifying. And this is a plugin where you can set it so you can see all your current placements of all the people on your friends list while playing Cup of the Day. Or if you have club access, you can set it so you can see all the placements of all the club members in a specific club. Plugin number 9 also is pretty nice to have when qualifying for Cup of the Day. It shows you what division you need to get up to the next division, and it also shows you what the best players are driving, what you need to get into Div 1. Plugin number 10, Extra Leaderboard Positions, shows you the exact amount of time you need to get a specific placement. Next plugin is Tweaker. Tweaker lowers your render distance, so if you're having huge FPS issues on big maps, then you can just put on Tweaker and you will be better again. Next plugin is Gold Scrubber. So if you're watching a record and you feel like you only want to watch the ending because you don't know how to do that, you can just scroll like a real YouTube video all the way to the ending right away, instead of waiting the entire replay. Next plugin is Editor Trails, and this makes you see the exact lines you just took while validating the map, and it also shows you the gear ups and gear downs. Plugin 14 is something almost everyone has, it's CP counter, and it basically shows you how many checkpoints is on the map and how many you have collected. And next plugin is Champion Medals. It's basically just a harder author medal that you can hunt for if you feel like you're getting really good at the game and feel like the author medals are getting way too easy. Next plugin is Better Loading Screen. And this switches out the boring loading screen with a random map the community have made lately. Plugin number 17 is Grinding Stats, and this is a great plugin, because it tracks the exact amount of time you've spent on a map, how many finishes you have, and how many resets you've done. It's pretty cool to keep track of how long you do stuff on the map, in my opinion. Plugin number 18 is Map Validator, and with this plugin, you can set any auto time you want on any track that you're trying to create. But the way this is supposed to be used is that if you're validating a map, and you're like, ah yes, that's a good time, right? Really good time. And then you're like, oh shit, I forgot to put the podium on the map. And then you put the podium on, and then the other time is gone. Then you have to drive it again. With this plugin, you can just put that time that you got before onto the map again without driving it. That's how this is supposed to be used. Don't cheat with this and put faster times that you, know, you have actually driven. Plugin number 19 is No Respawn Timer. And No Respawn Timer is basically a plugin that shows you what time you would have had if you didn't respawn on any checkpoints. Next plugin is AFK Q Tool. And this plugin makes it so you can queue in a game while playing other tracks. Instead of being in the actual ranked menu, you can just play whatever you want. Plugin 21 is Editor Helpers. And this is a plugin that I use to get rid of all the chunky things on the edge of every single block that you're placing in the game. I don't remember what it's called, but it gets rid of these things. And it's super nice. Your second to last plugin is Speed Splits. And speed split shows you the exact amount of speed you're behind or in front your PB on every single checkpoint on the map. And plugin number 23, last but not least, Bonk. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and 
make sure to like and subscribe uh, and I apologize for the inactivity on the channel but I'm gonna go back to normal now and upload like normal so I hope you guys are ready for that and um, yeah if I miss any plugins let me know in the comments because maybe I missed something really important that you guys think I should know or that people should know and then I'll pin the comment and we're all good so with all that being said I hope you guys have a good day or night and I will see you in the next video catch out